guys, Afrin here today back on the lake. I have a bit of an open schedule today, so I'm gonna put some time into the lake, kind of dissect it a little bit, just, just give it an honest try and see what I can find out, and hopefully we catch a few fish along the way. I wanna thank you for all the tips you guys are putting in the comments section. I really appreciate that. I know you guys don't have to do that, and freshwater fishing is a little bit of a tight-knit community, so I do appreciate those tips, and I'm reading them, and hopefully I can put some of them to use. Now, today I have six rods on the deck. I have the Senko, the Drop Shot, the Swim Jig, and the crankbait, those are my four staples right now. And I deleted one rod, it was a strictly uh, small swim bait and underspin rod, and I brought in the flipping stick. Hopefully there's some opportunities to flip into these toolies with this bigger rod and reel. I'm ready to get to it, so let's go fishing. See that? <laughs> I'm in a weird spot flipping. I just stopped the kayak to like kind of set up and there's a fish straight down, so. He hit the jig though. Let's see if we can get him to eat it again. I'm at a super weird angle to set the hook. I'm like, you know. I got a, uh, you know, eight foot rod, eight foot flipping stick. I'm basically going vertical with it. I should back off a little bit, but <laughs> we'll stick him here. We got it. He's, he's going for it, so. Oh, he's flashing on it. He's pissed off for sure. I had him. He hit it. Came off. It ripped him too hard. Pretty cool though. I think we'll move on. Had enough of this guy. He's probably had enough of me. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Alright guys. First little fish right there. Definitely a small one, one pounder, probably not legal, but stoked to get one. I pulled up, just rigging up my stuff, saw him right there in the toolies, and was able to jig him up with the flipping stick. But I mean, I wasn't pitching it in like deep. I just saw him there dropping it up and down. He definitely was upset to have the jig bouncing on his little area. So good to get one. Let's keep it going. Just jumped off. Can I count it? <laughs> just busted that little one on the drop shot, but he came off. Does it count? <laughs> Still caught one, but all right, we'll keep we'll keep with it. That was cool though. Got one. Drop shot. He's in the junk right here. on me. Take him to this side, take him out, try to get him out of the stuff here. He's not very big at all, but I'll try to keep him on the line. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Little D shot fish. Right in the roof of the mouth. Yeah, nice little bass. Stoked to get one. I'll go ahead and get the release shot too. Lost him. 
hit it, I set the hook, and the jig jammed into the into the stuff. So broke that one off, broke that jig off. Let's go ahead and retie, get back down there. guy right after that retie pop this dude on the swim jig just pitch him into the grass there not a giant but I'm still in that I guess this is probably a one pound class those other fish I caught the other day are probably a lot bigger than this but Stoke got him right in the mouth there ate that jig well I'm definitely picking at those small ones right now I'm trying to I'm trying to work out that bigger fish Let's go ahead and get this guy in the water. mouth another little sight fish swim jig fish here he's protecting his stuff <laughs> another little bass looking good catching a few happy with that we'll go ahead and get this guy in the water too well guys really just picking at him here I'm fishing parallel with the toolies and I'm able to see if there's any fish shooting out of them or stationed inside of them. So I'm doing a lot of parallel fishing. And when I do see a fish, I tie down to some toolies, stop the position of the kayak and pitch on the fish. If I'm able to get right on top of them or right next to them, I'm gonna throw a variety of different baits. So far, the swim jig, the half ounce swim jig, roach color with a Berkeley chigger craw. And this is a pumpkin blue flake. That seems to really irritate them, that blue flake shimmering like this so i've got a few more like that i've seen some free swimmers but unable to catch them so far so i'm going to keep at it He flipped off. He flipped off. What do you think, guys? Does it count or not? <laughs> you tell me. I was just blown down the bank here and I was pitching the jig because it was kind of windy. So I was just kind of pitching it along and then I saw one come up after it. I pulled back and I waited. I saw that he set up on some toolies. And so I set up on him and uh, I got him to go, but. <laughs> He flipped off. I had him hooked on the, the bottom of the jaw, or you know, the bottom lip. So kind of a backwards hookup, but he flipped off. I'm obviously dogging him in, trying to get him into the boat. Does that count? <laughs> All right, dudes, I'm gonna keep with it here. Probably just gonna keep blowing down the bank here and just checking out some stuff. Let's keep fishing. I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. That was a fun morning all the way around. Got several fish. I think all the fish I caught were sight fish, which is fine with me. I, I'm getting to uh, get that dialed in. So when the big ones are there, I'll be able to strike. I'll have a better opportunity to catch those fish. Well, thanks again for joining me on this adventure. I really appreciate it. It's been a fun one and it's been a good morning all the way around. Nice chill morning on the water. Good to get out. And that's what it's all about, guys. It's about being on the water and letting all that land stress dissipate on the water is a different world and that's what we need a little water time thanks for all the support i really appreciate it the channel's growing 
and those orders are coming in through war baits and i see what you guys are doing you're buying those Domiki knockout craws hopefully something in this video inspires you guys to go fishing because fishing is fun and it's a good way to get out with nature so all right guys get out there go fishing hook that giant <laughs> Drop shot bass, pretty sweet. 